Tenen. This is a very exciting brewer. It's a new brewer from Oria. Um, this is the Oria Brewer version 4 or V4. Um, this actually came out when just when I got my V3. So it took me a while to decide if I ever um, really wanted to get this or not. But yeah, it's here now. Um, I want to read the box first before we actually open this because there is a lot of writing on it. <clears throat> so this is the narrow version. Yeah, because the V4 comes in two sizes, the narrow one and the wide one. So my V4 is the narrow um, size. It's the narrow shape. This is our classic geometry of 73 degrees. An, an aggressive geometry that prom promotes faster flow rates and brings with it brightness and flavor intensity. The narrow V4 is our fastest flowing configuration which brings with it the classic two minute groups. Okay, the material is written on here as well. It is BPA free and food safe polypropylene. So it's PP. Right, this is, this is one to two cups and the recommended um, recommended dosage is 12 to 28 grams of coffee. This is the Oria V4, so let's open the box. So it, the box is very simple. It's like a recycled carton, brown paper with black printings on it. Now there is the branding. Okay, so when it, oh. When you open the box, the brewer comes in a dust bag. Wow! This is the first. Um, I have never seen a brewer that came in a dust bag. Maybe like plastic, plastic packaging but not in a dust bag. Yeah, you can actually um, write, write from Right from opening the box, you can actually see the value of the money that you're paying for it. Okay, so it comes with a couple of cards. Um, even though in, uh, this is a great moment, all of the best tools for your brews. Welcome to Oria V4 Brewing System. Okay, um, these cards are the explanations for the different um, bottom attachments. So we have the classic, which looks like the V3. Yeah, I have my v V3 right here. So, yeah, one attachment looks exactly like this. And then the fast, the beauty and the beast are new signature designs. From the There's no restriction in no way. Water can clog up. Goes well with any coffee butter. Washed dense coffees in particular. Oh. So they, they even have, um, right, so the classic is best for natural processed beans. The fast is best for washed coffees. The open is best for fruity naturals or more fermented. And then the apex is... Oh, so the apex is the, the bottom attachment that you can use your conical filters with. Right, so, oh, this is more exciting. Remember my video about the Oria being the unbeatable dripper? Well, this takes it to the next level. Okay, let's see the brewer. So you get, um, uh, oh, this is the first. You get an Oria V, ah, uh, you get an Oria sticker there which is like a rainbow holograph hologram ish um metallic sticker let's put it there and oh here is your brewer okay so here are the different attachments so this is the classic 
we remove it from the packaging. But yeah, here is the classic, which ex which looks exactly like the V3. Um, even the insides looks exactly like the V3 with the um, ribs on the inside. Next is this is the fast fast dripper. So I think it shares the same um, it shares the same concept of the classic, but without the restriction. So you see the you see the black. Um, circle in the middle right here they simply made it bigger so it's faster the insides look exactly the same except for the middle part right next is I'm not sure what this one is called oh this is the open so the open is Bend, filter to bend and concentrate floor more so centrally. This results in a distinctive acidity structure suitable for any coffee but we have bright juicy. Oh, so this is for your um, fruity and fermented fruity and fermented beans. This is the open. I guess you, you still use like um, like a flat bottom paper filter for this one. Yeah, okay. So we have three, and then the one that is attached to the brewer right now is the Apex. So this is the Apex. This is the attachment that you can use your um, conical paper filters. Right, and you have a different base now. It has a teeth. Okay, so there is teeth so that it's not going to spin and here is the upper part of the dripper so this part right here it has a thread for your different attachments okay I want to see I want to see the size difference of the um, Oria like the classic Oria from the V4. Okay. Um, it's a bit taller than it's a bit taller than the V3. Yeah, by a couple of millimeters, I think. Yeah. Um, let's um let's measure. Okay, so the V4 is actually 74, 74 mm in height as compared to the V3 which is 72. Oh, tama. It's, it's taller 2 millimeters than the V3. Right, and then... Um, the inside is a, the angle inside is exactly the same except that the V4 is very smooth as compared to the V3 which has a bit of a texture yeah, it has a bit of a texture inside but Yeah, I don't think it matters. Right. So I wanna try I wanna try if if the negotiator for the V3 works for the V4 as well. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the um, apex bottom attachment here. Let's just line up the I just wanna line up the the base against the logo <laughs> okay so I have a v3 um, v3 negotiator here and yes it fits yeah but as I've said it's a bit taller than the v3 
So if you look at that closely, with the V4, the negotiator sits inside of the dripper. As compared to the V3, it sits right on the edge. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I want to I want to play with the V4 first before I do some reviews or I, I express my opinions about the brewer. But yeah, I think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long review because we have four different bottom attachments. So you have the classic, the fast. The open and then the apex. Yeah, so they all differ in functions and water behavior, of course. The drawdown will be much different, of course. Um, and also, I want to I want to discover if the recommendations about the bottom attachments. I want to know if they're right about the recommendations, like. Like for the fast, they say it's best used with washed coffees and then natural coffees or heavily fermented coffees with the classic. Yeah, and I'm gonna switch that, uh, I'm gonna switch those up and see if, if the effect is, is any different or is it really the best bottom attachment for that um, kind of coffee. Also, I want to discover how to best mount the conical paper filter here with the apex bottom. Because I'm wondering, I'm wondering, here is a 02 size 02 paper filter. And I'm not really sure how, how to do it yet. Yeah, but... Yeah, of course, I'm gonna make a video about it. But yeah, I think that's it for this episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and in the next videos, I'm gonna be sharing to you more of what I think about the Aurea V4. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!